a way to shock somebody in a way that's not been seen before. You, you tell a good story, it has a beginning, and a middle, and an end, has compelling characters, has a twist or two, and that you love and that you want to spend the time working on it, you're in the right ballpark. So please, please, write, 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 write. There's a great book called The First Six Lessons. Anybody that has any kind of creative impulse, First Six Lessons, the Bolsowski. Find it on Amazon. It is terrific for both actors, for directors, and for writers. First six lessons. Um, first off, we loved you in Holliston. Thank um, you. Um, now, we, my question calls back to this the other lady's question about um, Alcatraz. Yeah. Uh, the way you answered that seemed to imply that you had other ghostly experiences or, or anything with the no, supernatural. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm an empath, you know, so uh, all my life I've had, you know, visitations, if you will. So, they're trying to talk me into doing this, uh, and I'm trying my best, I've said no three times, but they're trying to convince me to do, to kind of do the hostess kind of thing, a reality show, I can't even say it, right? But it would be a, a specific reality show where we go and visit. Uh, it's not paranormal, but it's more than that. It's trying to go and visit proven places that have been affected or something strange has happened. That could be many places around the world. Right now, I don't know, there's a, there's a hotel in Oklahoma City called the Skirvin, uh, where uh, wherever teams come to play the Oklahoma Thunder, they stay there. and. There's been 80 documented cases of people not being able to sleep through the night. Things like bathroom doors sewing, bathtubs filling up, being in the shower and all of a sudden you're with a, uh, a naked ghost woman. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah and then when you grew up holding the soap, you realize you're not. <laughs> no, it's a true story. Apparently, this woman, the uh, hotel owner in the turn of the century, got this woman pregnant and then locked her in a room, and then she couldn't take it anymore. She jumped from the 13th floor with the baby, and to this day, people hear the baby crying through the night, and this woman doing all kinds of lascivious behavior. So, Skirvin Hotel, Oklahoma City. And the places like this are all over the place. So I grew up, we grew up in a very poor neighborhood, and we were surrounded by a graveyard. So I never had any fear about because that's what we played. We played in the graveyard. That's what we did. You know, we the tombstones, we played football, and we tried to avoid the, you know, <laughs> tombstones. <laughs> it was a while for past. But uh, because of that, you know, I just, I just, you know, but I guess everybody's had experiences, whether they know it or not. And special memories of working with Brandon Lee on the crow. Any what? Special memories of working with Brandon Lee on the crow. I this is not a week goes by. I don't think I work with Brandon. Um, you know, uh, it shouldn't have happened. Uh, we were staying in a great loft over a bar. So for the first few weeks, I'm a huge sports guy, particularly basketball. I'm a huge March Madness, so it's right around the corner. Thank you. And. Uh, Every night, I'm trying to learn from my line, and I'm also watching the games. And, and one day, Brandon said, "Look, we're not hanging out with us." I said, "Oh no!" I said, oh, "I'm trying to find my character." When two, if I just wanted to see who won, but it also worked on my character. And then, uh, uh, yeah, then we started hanging out. Jägermeister had just come out, so everybody was doing shots of Jägermeister. You know, and just talking and just playing pool and living life and. and Loving that we have been selected to be in an incredible movie. Hi. Hi. Uh, quick question about the reboot question again, but uh, 1990 when you guys redid Night of the Living Dead, mm -hmm. I recently rewatched that film, and it struck me that unlike the original, there seemed to be some other themes running through it that were a little more blatant. Mm -hmm. Racism, uh, spousal abuse, the role of women. Were you guys aware uh, going into it that you were going to be there was going to be uh, a little more substance to the story? Or were you just like, all right, this is great. We're just going to scare everybody. I think the main thing we wanted to do is do the twist at the end, where 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 
Barbara had more empowerment. That, that was the one that we really knew we wanted to do. Everything else came about because of Tom Toll's rest in peace we lost last year playing uh, Cooper. He, uh, he and I knew right away that we were gonna keep it real. And uh, to the point, yeah, yeah, a little bit, to the point though where like, I mean our method, his method, to the point where like, the only time we spoke was what you saw on the film. I mean, that's it. We wanted to keep it raw. I mean, there was a couple points where you almost came to blows. So you can feel that in the film. In a good way, not in a bad way. I mean, he's not crazy, so. <laughs> and, uh, um, you know, and years later, he, he apologized. I didn't realize this, but apparently he had, he had been going through, uh, uh, he went into recovery. And, uh, and he, he'll be the, he'll be the first one to tell you. And he apologized to me. He says, "No, I, I never." He says, "I was such an angry person at that time and couldn't accept a lot of things." And that really touched me because he didn't have to say it. And it had been 15 years since it had happened. So that, but I was feeding off what he was giving me, and that's that's it. And and again, it's been my whole thing, my personal subtext. As I told you, I was a newborn father. So I just wanted to get home to my family. I wanted to get home to my people, right? In the midst of what was going on. So. Got time for one or two more. Who else has a question for Tony Todd? Uh, well, we're continuing work on uh, Flash still. So. Um, you know, voiceover work is great. I mean, uh, you know, I just put three in the can last week, and so three new episodes, and the last one, the show comes back on the 22nd, and it's, it's gonna be intense. And, uh, it's a good time, and, one, and the reason I got this new job was because of that job, so, you know, so every job leads to the next job, every moment leads to another beautiful moment, and even tragedy leads to new discoveries, so I'm happy. Oh, and I got to spend this Christmas. I spent Christmas in Italy. Ooh. Three weeks in Rome. Unbelievable. If you haven't been to Italy, go. Trust me. There's like six hour meals. Yeah. <laughs> Three huh? times a day. <laughs> now, people are just so effusive of love and expressionism and everywhere you go there's a build the Colosseum is like oh my god when was that built the Vatican everything is impressive so the one good perk in what I do is I get to travel to so many beautiful places from Rome even to uh, Petersburg West Virginia you know that, there's beauty in every place people are all the same 